We're here with Melody Glass, and she's going to show us um, what she's come up with that was inspired by vampire researcher Rain Brimstone. Rain told me a lot about himself in a short period of time. So I really just embraced everything that he said, and then I threw it on the canvas. Well, the first thing I did was I did a painting a while ago, and it was my take on the sun and a new horizon. And so I didn't care for it. So I said, but it would be ironic because we all know vampires do not like the sun. So my first step was to cover it up. So I did, I used a lot of white paint and then the process began. I noticed that rain liked a lot of red and black. So that's kind of where I started in the gray colors. So then I started to trace his face, his facial features. And so I wanted to also capture his hair. One of the things he told me is that he likes steampunk. So I tried to incorporate that. So this is what it looks like now. And then the finishing piece is to be unveiled. All right. That's a, I love that. Like we, we got, so excited. That was my first time ever being walked through an artist's process that clearly we went from the sun to a vampire. And this is a portrait for our vampire hunter slash researcher, Rain Brimstone. I've decided to name this Embracing the Darkness Within. That really does look like him. Yeah, he's going to love this. <laughs> I think that I captured his essence. It just wasn't that he is an, a vampire enthusiast. But um, some of the things that I wanted to add to the portrait were things about him. The day that I met him, he actually wore a cross but we know that vampires do not wear crosses, so I put it in the corner. Um, Rain said that uh, he loves to sing, he loves to act, and so I wanted to show that in the symbols of the um, musical signs. Uh, he'd gone to many parties, but he always wore a mask, so here I put the mask in the background. He told me that he is about to make um, some fighting swords, and so this is kind of close to the one that Riddick uses in his movies. And then this is the medieval kind of gear that you would wear if you were a vampire. And then his cloak. And he still, you know, how vampires seem to look beautiful, but still dark and gloomy. Yeah, so I, hopefully I captured that for him. I think you did. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. I think he is going to be over the moon to see this. Are there any um, particular um, like uh, painting techniques or anything that you, you brought to this that was uh, uh, special? I think that the background is as important as the subject. So that's why you noticed I started with the stripes and the, you know, the whites yeah. and the, the grays and the reds to bring that out. And then I think I use a little oil on the cloak and on the outline of it because I wanted to bring your eyes to it and then also to bring your eyes to the color of his eyes. Well, here um, I use a chemical, it's called gel medium. And I scraped it, I just brushed it across his face just a little bit to add um, a glare if you take a photo of it, because if he was actually a vampire, you probably wouldn't see him, he would fade in and out. So I wanted to give that kind of uh, look to him and his portrait. The eyes are really captivating. You know how like uh, vampires, like they're able yeah. to do like a glamour, you know? And I feel like this painting really encapsulates that because I just can't stop looking at the eyes. Uh, I made the lips a little more red as though he has already had some blood for the day. And then since you couldn't see his fangs, I decided to put the fangs up his zipper. The cloak, the actual red to me was was just going to be the shadow of blood to give you that essence. But then I decided to go with a cloak because vampires normally wear um, clothing that they, they cloak themselves from others. So those are just some little tidbits I wanted to add to the portrait. And hopefully uh, Rain will spot all of these different types of things. It looks like it belongs on a vampire's wall. Like this is the, the portrait you stumble upon to learn that he's a vampire when he invited you over for cocktails. Again, thank you so much for giving your time and talents to produce something. All right, thank, thank you. Thank you so much for um, giving me this experience. Uh, I really am happy that I went through it, so. All right, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Thank